Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Josh. Uh, first time doing this, uh, recording a video. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm recording a video. Well, I decided this year that I was just going to take a bold step and just share some things, see if it'd be helpful to anybody. Uh, we've, we've all been through a lot the last two years and uh, we've all made different observations as far as what's going on around us, this uh, political climate, this society that we're living in and all the challenges that have pre presented themselves to everybody. Uh, nobody's exempt, nobody's not been um, you know, nobody's been left unaffected by anything we've gone through since uh, 2020 and even before that. But it's not just specifically for this uh, season that we're in as a society. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I've just come into a, a confidence in, in my gifting and my ability to to coach others, to uh, build up others. So, you know, I I just want to put some things out there. Uh, if it's helpful, if you can gain something from it, if it can make you better, maybe uh, think differently, maybe see things from a different angle, different perspective, great. Um, if you don't think I have anything to offer, that's fine too. There's a lot of people out here uh, on social media with a lot of great content, a lot of great advice, there's a lot of great voices out there. Uh, I just wanted to be uh, somebody who was proactive and took a step forward and just kind of put myself out there, uh, available to, you know, provide some type of uplifting, some type of guidance. Uh, for people that might, you know, really take hold of things that I share and, and feel like it's for them and, and useful for them, whatever they're going through. You know, um, I'm doing this all backward. I don't know my target audience. Um, I don't necessarily have a service that I offer specifically yet. Uh, but this was just really about me making this first video and just getting this out of the way. It's something I've been procrastinating and, uh, you know, procrastination is a hell of a drug, right? <laughs> we can talk about doing things. We can say we're going to do this and that. And, uh, we just keep talking. So I wanted to put some action behind what I was saying, behind what I kept saying I was going to do. Uh, by no means am I any type of expert or guru, uh, just a person who has made observations who's not afraid to uh, to think on my own. Um, you know, for those of you that know me, that know my story, that know me personally, some of you have known me a long time. Uh, you know how I was raised. You know how I grew up. I, I've always grown up in the church. I've always grown up around the faith, um, the Bible. Those types of things are not foreign to me. That's what I know. But what this isn't is a religious or faith-focused uh, type of video. And and I don't say that out of any resentment or bitterness toward the church. I'm not upset. I love the church. Um, I love um, the faith. Uh, there's some truths there to me that still um, are important. And if you want to know what I believe in, if you want to know where I stand when it comes to those types of things, by all means, uh, you can direct message me. You can ask me a couple of questions. But this, what this is for, what I and the reason why I'm I'm reluctant, not reluctant, but the reason why I'm not going to um, frame any of these videos like that is for one, not everybody has a good experience. Not everybody has. Uh, a good outlook on on the church or people of faith and uh, we've shown ourselves to be very human to make mistakes and to really just uh, 
you know, push people out of our circles that don't believe what we believe in. Which I think is funny because just because I, I, I'm a Christian or just because I'm a believer doesn't mean I think how everyone else thinks. And that's our that's our right. That's our God given ability is to think, to be free thinkers. The second thing is, you know, I just don't want anybody to feel like they can't listen to anything I'm saying and gain from it. I'm not saying you will. I'm not saying everything I say is right or valuable. The cool thing about this platform is there's no rules to it. I can say whatever I want. I can discuss whatever I want. There's no specific theme other than me just trying to pass on some good advice, some wisdom that I feel I've acquired and learned over the years. And in doing so with the intention that it's going to help somebody. That somebody will be able to, you know, perhaps take what I'm saying and uh, maybe it'll flip a switch. So this is for everyone who would like to gain from it. You know, if you're a member of the LGBTQ community, if you're confused, if you're angry at God, if you don't believe in God, if you're spiritual, but you don't have anything to do with religion, wherever you stand, if you're a living, breathing person on this earth, you're welcome to uh, partake of what I'm sharing. Again, with, with my hope being that you're going to take something positive away from it, that's going to be helpful. And if you don't find it helpful, like I said, there's a lot of people on social media. There's a lot of content. There's a lot of resources. I'm not the guy. I'm just a guy. I'm a person who wanted to do something other than just work a nine to five and, you know, kind of fit in that, in that slot, or however you want to look at it. And nothing wrong with it. You know, we have to live. We have to make an income. We work hard for our families. In that regard, I'm just a, a normal person. But, you know, when you have something to share and you're a part of a community, I think it's the right thing to share. I think the right move is to put it out there. And that's something that I did learn growing up. And it had nothing to do with any type of religion. It had to do with the way the people in my life acted, how they lived, how they carried themselves, and how that influenced me. And how I could still be myself, but I could take what I learned and apply what made sense. And that's what this is about. A lot of things that I've, like, a lot of the things that I've kind of developed, I guess, been able to put into words. Um, this is a, a book that I just got done reading for the second time. It's called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Rest in peace. Mr. Covey is no longer with us, but he did leave a, a great book behind and it was an eye opener for me. And this is not a review of the book, but I will be drawing from the book a lot because it's so influential in my life at least. Highly recommend it. If you see, I got the sticker here. Um, it's, this is not a limited edition. I just want you to know that this is my actual copy. Like I, I actually read this, I've read it, right? I'm going on my second time, I'm gonna go on a third time reading it. And uh, one of the most important things that the book talks about is um, how, we view the, how we view the world. And it's something that we rarely think of, but uh, you know, when you and I go out in the world and we observe things and we see things, we don't realize that not everybody sees it like that. And we don't always understand why they do or they don't. And so one of the things that the book causes you to really think about is, why do I see the world the way that I see it? You know, I'm, I'm in sales. And one of the most important things in sales is to ask discovery questions. What I mean by that is you're prospecting somebody and you want to sell them your product. So you're going to ask questions. You're looking for a problem to solve, right? And the process almost works the same with ourselves. We begin to ask ourselves questions. 
Why do I see it like that? Why do I disagree with this person the way they see it? And I think that's a relevant uh, thought. I think that's a relevant uh, undertaking, especially, you know, in regard to what we're going through right now in this country and in everybody's lives, how it's affecting us. Really understanding why I see things the way that I see them. And he's got this great line in the book and it says, what you see is not the problem. The problem is the way you see it. And he goes on to explain that all of us have uh, like almost like a roadmap in our minds where we draw conclusions. We, 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 we decide what's what based on this process, but the process, the steps that we take to go from point A to point B in our conclusion, all those things have been influenced. All those things come from influences, growing up, environment, uh, personality, what affected us, what influenced us, what, what made impressions on us. And there's just so many things that factor into it. There's so many things that factor into how and why I see things the way that I see them. And then I, that also presents the possibility that, well, is there some adjusting I can make in my perspective? Is there an adjustment that could be made in the way I see the world that might actually be the one thing that's keeping me from getting where I want to go? Because I've always been looking for things my whole life. I've been looking for a career. I've been looking for this, that. And it comes to a point where you don't even realize why you're looking for those things. A lot of times you're looking for certain things because you've been told that you need to look for those things and you need to find those things. And that there's like some like a checklist that's going to just bring peace or some type of satisfaction. And it's just not that simple. We're complicated beings. Our minds don't all work the same. We don't all respond the same. And so that's what this video is about. That's what these the series of videos will be about. I don't know if I'm going to do a live every week. Um, I'm working on services to offer, right? There is a value to, to what I offer, just like there's a value to what you offer. And if you haven't discovered what that is, I'm hoping that these videos will, will, will shine some light on that. And you can label it what you want, motivation, inspiration, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it this is not, you know... We put, each, we put ourselves in a niche. We put ourselves in a category. I, I'm not looking to do that. I'm open to whatever. What I want to do, what I'm hoping to accomplish, my end goal in this is to help somebody kind of get over that hump. Or maybe see things different so they make a left turn instead of a right. And you might be wondering, why the heck do you care, Josh? Why does that matter to you? And that's a good question. Because I have a family. I have people that I care for, that I look after. So why would I care about anybody that I don't know or some random person? Well, the short answer is this. So I've always had somebody in my life that cared about me. I've always had somebody in my life that cared enough to, to pour into me, share with me, give me wisdom, give me insight, give me advice. And, and who am I to keep that? Who am I to not share that? In the church, we call that a, a, a calling. We might call it a mission. I just call it being myself. I just call it reaching my full potential. And I strongly believe that in order to reach my full potential, I have to build up others. I have to share with others. So whoever's watching this, I hope you take something good from it. Watch out for more videos. I'm going to try to make this regular. Like I said, this is not a book study. This is not a book club. This is not a Bible study. This is not an evangelism video. This is not any of that. This is just a dude sharing from, from the heart, from the head, 
what I got, my observations, what I've seen, you know, and, uh, you know, you decide how you want to take it. <laughs>